All right, what's going on, guys? So, I got my uh, I got my foot in the cast today. Hey, cat. I got my foot in the cast today, so uh, most of the swelling's gone down from the surgery and whatnot. So it's feeling pretty good. Um, got a package here from uh, the retro store I go to, and got some pretty good games this time. Um, got one game that I've really been wanting for a while, and then I got two other ones. Uh, that were kind of higher priced because I got uh, on East Starland where I went. If you buy two NES games, you get the third one free. I don't know if the sale's still going on or not, but that's how, that's what was going on there. If you put this, you had to go on the site and look for the promo code, and they would give you a special promo code, and then you could uh, enter it in there. So, uh oh, all right. So let's see what we got here. Uh, the first one I got was, well, one of them that I got was Lolo 2, and this one actually came with the manual, um, you know, wrapped up here nicely. Um, they clean their games really well, uh, so yeah, I'd like to look at the cover art on that, but I don't want to rip it taking it apart, <laughs> but yeah, that's Lolo 2, Adventures of Lolo 2. I, I rented this game, and I rented the third one, possibly, but I know I rented this one, and I, I even owned the first one at a point. Uh, I love a little game, really good puzzle game. One of the first puzzle games I really ever played, even before, you know, Tetris came around. So, yeah, there's Lolo 2. Alright, what's the next one we got here? Le Empur. It's a Koi game, um, sort of like Shenzhen the Ruler or Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Le Empur. More a uh, colonial, I guess you would call it. I don't know exactly what you'd call it, but uh, like a European style game. Um, uses the same schematics and formats as, you know, Dynasty, Destiny, or Nabunaga's Ambition, Ascension the Ruler, you know. Um, What's the other one? Romance of the Three Kingdoms. So yeah, I bought this also because it is, it is a higher priced game. I mean, this game will get you upwards of the high 20s, maybe even low 30s, but you know, high 20s. And I ended up, um, you know, this was one of the, well, I think I got Lolo free because it was like $26 or $23, I think. I don't know, either way, that's why I got it. Okay, and then the main game I got was Gun Knack. This is a, uh, this is a shoot 'em up that I've been wanting for the Nintendo for a long time, and next to Life Force, uh, this is considered one of the better shoot 'em ups that are uh, that is on the Nintendo. In my opinion, it definitely is one of the most obscure. This is one of the you know a, the closest looking resemblance to any type of Japanese shoot 'em up that you normally got that is on the uh, NTSC Nintendo, so. Um, it's a really detailed game here. here. I'll pan through here so you guys can read that. Maybe, I don't know. So yeah, it's Gun Neck. And it's nice to have this in this game. I mean, it's really, really good shoot 'em up, and uh, it's a really rare game. I mean, this I paid a little, I paid a pretty penny for this, but uh, you know, I've been wanting this game for a while, and I mean, it pretty much goes. It's pretty much was like the cost of a brand new game, which I could easily justify if you look at it in that light, and the fact that you know this game will never go down in value. So, yeah, I'll show when I show a little gameplay of these vids here. I will, uh, I'll show you what's inside these things, though, so. Should be some fun, though, considering you're flying around shooting flying carrots and stuff, so. <laughs> Alright, guys, well, thanks for checking out these pickups here, and, uh, look for some gameplay of these. Peace.